Okay, this is part 45 of my Community Site series, and we ran into a little bit of a snag when we had our video page set up, um, and the reason is because of our query, um, because our numbers query is only showing about 10. So if we remove this, or if we uh, copy this line, paste it down here, and copy our num rows, or don't copy our num rows, sorry, and we take that, we get rid of our limit, and if we re-upload now, and if we refresh, we now have our next and previous buttons being shown. So if we go to a previous page, it's starting out at the very first, click next, we have the next set, next, 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 next. So it is working, so that um, pretty much solved our little snag problem. Now it's kind of, and when we get to the end, we just have our previous. Um, so it kind of brings us to a little bit of a problem um, when the, uh, where our, um, our next and previous links are, are because we don't want just want a next and previous link, and plus they're really small and everything, and kind of not good to look at, I guess, for lack of better terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the float code, and I'm going to replace it with center tag, and we're going to center this, get rid of this to end the center. We're also going to do the same thing down here place all of this with center and end the center. Also we need to change our link down here, I just noticed. So videos S equals S equals get rid of comments. So that will uh, fix that problem. So we'll just add on a space there. Um, so if we upload and fresh, we now have it centered, but it's still kind of undesirable because the links are still small. So we're going to fix that by inside of our center tag, we're going to apply a style. So give ID, or not ID, class equals pagination, I guess. And we need to end the div down there. Um, and we also need to paste it up here. So now we have our class sort of made uh, and set up. We need to make it and style it now. So let's open up our CSS file. And I'm just going to scroll down here. And I'm going to create it. Pagination. So inside of here, what we're going to do is we are going to say um, create a style for all anchor tags. And we're going to say border um, all around. So we're going to say a solid one pixel border that will be, let's make it the color of our links, so just that, so that'll put a border around all sides. We're also going to put padding of about, let's go with five pixels for now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it and change it to our hover code, and I'm going to change the border color to our hover color and get rid of the padding. So that will kind of style it a little bit. So if we upload that and upload our videos page, refresh, see we now have this box over it, um, but we need some a little bit of space here. So on our videos page, after our center tags, uh, this is our top one. I'm going to put in break tags. And at the bottom, um, before 
our center. I'm going to put in a break tag. Upload. Refresh. So this is now um, a little bit better. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to make the text bold. So I'm going to say font attack weight, which would be bold. Okay, that didn't work. Um, let's try just making it for all text within pagination. Last. Oh, that's why. It's because we uploaded the wrong file. Did. Oh, uh, we can just leave it as it is. Upload. Refresh. File's not uploaded. There it is. So our text is now bold. And we're kind of getting uh, a little bit of spacing. Um, but for now, I'm going to put the size to 2 pixels. Just to make it a little bit larger to go along with the... Um, with the bold text, so it'll look a little bit better. We refresh, so there we go. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we have this. Now we need to add some margin on our our footer here. So let's scroll up to our footer, and let's add margin, tack, top. And I should have done this at the very beginning of the series, but I forgot. So we'll do 20 pixels. So what that's going to do is it's going to give us just a large space there. Let's refresh. And in time now. Okay, I think I know what it is actually. Um, we put that in our links. It needs to be in the general footer. That will help. So now if we refresh, there it goes, it kicks it down a little bit more, but also notice that this is kind of kicked up into this text, and the reason is because um, for all this text and everything, we're floating it. So what we want to do is we want to, um, we could either put on another break tag, which is kind of what we shouldn't do, <coughs> or we can go to our videos page before we show our pagination, let's add in an echo. Give, whoops, give class equals clear and the div. Upload the videos page. Refresh. So now it kicks it down. Um, so that's kind of exactly what we wanted it to do. Uh, but it's kind of got a lot of space there. So I'm going to get rid of the break tag right there. So there it goes. Now, we have this, but it's kind of just having a next and a previous button. Kind of isn't that nice looking. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to scroll up to the top, and scroll up to the top here, and I'm going to show you how to make, um, code, uh, how to code uh, a section where it'll show all the pages, like it'll give you a number for each page. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a for loop. And in our for loop, we're going to put in some code. Um, now right above this, we need to create a variable, and we'll just call it x. So x equals 0, so we just need to set it to 0. Um, or no, not 0, sorry, 1. We need to set it to 1. And inside of here, we need to create another variable and set that one equal to 0. So that's why I got that mixed up. So we need to say um, colon um, in our i variable. If it's uh, greater than our num rows, then we want to do um, i plus plus. And inside of here, we want to say if our start variable um, does not equal oops does not equal the i variable ah uh, not equal dollar sign i. Uh, then we want to echo a href equals 
and and the anchor tag. Inside of here, we want to just say our uh, x variable, and our length is going to be site slash um, videos uh, question mark s equals, and then this is going to be the i variable right there. So um, then we want to put in else and echo. We'll put in a link a href equals, um, and I'll explain this in a second. Site slash videos question mark um, s equals dollar sign i and end link. And inside of here, we want to put our i variable or our x variable, sorry, and we want to make it bold and underlined. So this is going to signify that this is our current age. Okay, so let me explain this now. So we're running a for loop, so our for loop is just going to go through every single time um, that our i variable, which is set to zero, is less than our num rows variable, so the total number of, um, of videos. And then we're saying if our start variable does not equal our i, so if we're not on the current page, then we're just going to uh, show our link. But if we are on the current page, that's our else here, we're just um, we're making the variable bold and underlined. So maybe you'll be able to understand it better after we upload. If we refresh, you see we now have this giant population of numbers. Um, and it goes all the way over there. That's because this actually needs to say um, dollar sign x uh, plus plus right there. So that'll give us different numbers, obviously. So if we refresh, so we now have each individual one. Um, but the problem with this is that our um, um, our our it's only really going to show starting at see we click one and then it'll be two. So it's only showing um, only a few, so that's obviously a problem. And 118 videos, so yeah, it's obviously a problem. So what we're gonna do, and you can see that it's making a bold underline for the one we're currently on. So, so to fix that problem, our i variable needs to be plus equals our per page variable. And if we re-upload that and refresh, we now have a lot less. So it's showing it, we have 12 pages total, and we have a next link. So we want to space these out a little bit, so we're going to go to our CSS file, and we're going to scroll down to our pagination links, and I'm going to say margin tack left, and we'll set that to 5 pixels. I guess, and we'll set a right margin to 5 pixels as well. So if we upload this and refresh, there we go. So everything is spaced out a lot better. If we click our next link, it takes us to the next page. So everything, everything's working. Oops. Everything's working and everything. But now there's still the problem with. Um, there being too much or too many pages. So what we're going to do, see we're on the second page here, what we're going to do is we're going to show just a few. So if we have too many pages, we're going to show maybe um, five links on this side, and then we're going to show, uh, we're just going to have periods in between, and then we're going to show maybe another five on this side, and then our previous and next. So that's going to be a little bit difficult. So um, obviously we don't have time in this video, but we will start on that in the next video.